College student in Nebraska is getting widespread recognition for unlocking the text of an ancient scroll. The big achievement also having big implications for our study of history. Six News' Joe Harris tells us why. Meet 21-year-old Luke Ferreter, a computer science student at UNL. He's the winner of the first letters prize. It's part of the Vesuvius Challenge, a competition to decipher ancient papyrus scrolls from the Roman city of Herculaneum, many of them fossilized by the Mount Vesuvius eruption almost 2,000 years ago. So there are hundreds of these scrolls just sitting in museums in Europe waiting to be read. No one knows how to read them. And they're too brittle to handle. They're all crumpled up, they're burnt, they're flaky. You can't just unroll them. People have tried. Nothing's really worked. But a professor at the University of Kentucky took 3D x-ray scans of them and uploaded them to the internet. And with the help of AI, Ferreter revealed the word purple. You need to use AI to actually take the ink and make it visible because you can't just look at the scan and see the ink. Deciphering the single word was not a short process. He says from March to September, he spent two to five hours a day working to reveal the text. Alexander the Great. Dr. Gianna Reams is the Ancient Mediterranean Studies Program Director at UNO. She says what's really huge is what we might find by reading these old charred texts. I do Alexander the Great. I would dearly love to find the writings of a guy called Marcius who went to school with Alexander and wrote about um, uh, Macedonian culture and all sorts of things. We don't have his writings. But also among these scrolls could be the writings of Seneca the Elder, who Reem says witnessed the Roman Republic's collapse and the empire's birth, which could be a cautionary tale for those of us living in modern civilizations. Here are the things you don't want to do if you want to keep your democracy or in, in the case of Rome, your republic. In addition to the national attention he's getting, Ferreter won $40,000 for his work, and the money is good, right? Very encouraging for sure, uh, definitely helps. Uh, helps me buy more computers to work on reading the rest of the scroll. And that's what he's going for next, the $700,000 grand prize to read four passages out of the scroll's inner layers by the end of this year. On your side, Joe Harris, Six News. That is so cool. Luke says since being recognized for winning this part of the Vesuvius Challenge, he's already gotten several job offers from tech startups and SpaceX, which is where he did his internship. But he says right now he's just focusing on winning that grand prize.